What's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this is a special unboxing. This is going to be on a product that was sent to me. They reached out to me. I guess they saw some videos where I had this thing showing the thermals, like how hot something was getting. And I never officially made a video of this by itself. <laughs> never uh, posted it. It's a thermal imaging camera. Not the greatest thing in the world. And I truly wish I'd have gotten the cheaper one because I'd the extra anyways this was sent to me the company reached out to me they wanted me to check it out so i said yes because i love the idea of having something that connects to my phone and then i can use my phone to upload that image because as things are right now it's very inconvenient to pop the sd card out put it in my computer transfer the file or remember to safely eject it put it back in here <laughs> it's just very inconvenient so when these people reached out to me i was like that's pretty cool i definitely want to check that out and i love how they say it's the world's second like they know they're not number one but they're number two and the important thing is this is android they actually reached out to me and said hey do you use apple or do you use android and i actually happen to use both daily so that's pretty convenient it's the thermal master and here it is the product name P2, Android, Thermal Master Technology, sales at Thermal Master, and then they have a website, and they have a phone number, and they have a QR code for tech support. We have some information here. It can detect up to, whoa, whoa over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. And 15 times digital zoom, frame rate's 25 hertz, 0.3 watts, and then Razer X. Okay, cool. So let's check it out. I am pretty excited because like I said, I like being able to see how hot something is in cold spots and, and get a visual reference of how hot or how cold something is. And using the other one is definitely not... It is definitely not very convenient. But hopefully with this, it will be more convenient and I will include temperatures of things more often than I do now. So in here, we've got a very thick, wow, that is, that is super thick. And then we have a card or something here, dear user, thank you for purchasing our product. Wow, that is really small. Holy, okay. Very interesting. And then in here, we have a cable. Interesting. It's like an extension. And then we also get a little clip to... Like, clip it onto something. All right, so you're definitely going to need the app. Ew, so I should be able to open my camera. And then... wonder if it's going to make me download an APK or if it's going to let me go to the Play Store. Oh, it is an APK. Okay. So, the file is too large to scan for viruses. So let me be the guinea pig here by downloading it. All right, so then you're gonna install, that's a nice amount of Android. You can download and install apps that aren't from the Play Store. So we're gonna open it up. That's pretty cool. All right, so agree. And now it's wanting us to plug it into the bottom of our phone. So I guess this is a good time to take a closer look at the actual unit. We've got some button here, maybe. Oh, oh, it's even smaller than I thought. What? This is it? This is, how is this the second world's smallest? I don't believe that. Oh, was that supposed to stay on? <laughs> it says P2 and you know what? We're just going to. We're just going to place that right here in case that's got something on it we need. Okay, this thing is actually tiny. Oh my word. So, that is little. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's plug it in, which it fits with our case that we got from Amazon. Just fine. Open. Okay. And then camera. Oh, so I have it facing me. I can... Since it's USB-C, I can change it the other way while using the app. Yes. Oh, I heard something in here click. Oh, my gosh. 
Um, okay. <laughs> that is very interesting. Very... Hi! <laughs> oh my gosh! So I should be able to take it and flip it around. And then it reconnects. Oh, that's so cool! All right, and now we can measure the temperature of items. So if you can see that, that's the wall charger right there. All right, what can I do? I'll do my hand. Okay, so let me zoom out. So there's my hand. So then we'll have a cable next to it, right? So that should be cold. You shouldn't really be able to see it. Oh, I moved my hand away. You can see where the... <laughs> oh, man, that's super cool. I... I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm thrilled. This is so cool. Uh, let's see. Point. I'm used to seeing iron. There we go. That's what I'm used to seeing for thermal imaging. And then I take my hand away. And yeah, you can see. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dork. Oh, so you can do the opacity where it'll do the can. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's a feature that this thing has. You can make it towards that other lens that isn't thermal can like over see the image. So you have a view of it like this. This is just showing me the actual camera, but then this is showing the thermal. So this has that feature too, but this is just a tiny thing. It combines the camera on your phone and the camera on here. And now we can record a video while using the app. And now we have a video, which I got to say the video on this thing is not that great at all. So it'll be exciting to see what the difference is with the video on this thing. So, oh, you can press. Oh, that's so cool. I don't quite know what it's doing. It's probably this other thing where it says point or a line. Now we can draw a line. I I obviously this is not the review. Let's delete all that. <laughs> this is definitely not the review, but and then we have our settings. You can rotate the image, you can mirror it, scale on. Oh, so I like the scale being on. That's nice. So the coldest is going to be 26 degrees and the hottest is going to be 35. I like the scale being there. Anyways, this is super freaking convenient. And this little case is freaking cool i love it i can keep this on me and at any time i can easily measure the temperature of something without needing this giant freaking thing and this has its own battery that you have to keep charged so in here we got temperature settings burn protection unit celsius and fahrenheit we have temperature alarm correction other settings language help about us so thermal master there you can create an account if you want to. Device details. So it has firmware. I'm assuming the Apple Bell will let you update the firmware on it. And then image setting, we can do HD. What? Uh, something wasn't available in HD. Let's see. What was that? Let's see. Will it show it again? There we go. So, <laughs> dude, there's so much here. Time display. And then you can view the gallery. And from here... Oh, it has the audio from the actual... This doesn't have audio. So that's actually huge that this thing can record the audio from your phone. It's playing the audio right now. It'll be exciting to see what the difference is. And then I can go ahead and share that. And then obviously I, I could pick which app that I want to share it to. If I want to share it to Twitter or I want to share it to YouTube or I want to share it anywhere, I could pick which app shares it to. With this, the file that it makes, I had to use Handbrake and convert that from the format that it is to a format that you know anything can accept. And then now I can upload it to YouTube. This is by far the most exciting thermal imaging camera I've had. This is the most convenient thermal imaging camera I've had. I can keep this thing on me everywhere that I go and it's available. That's just exciting. There's still uses of a standalone unit that doesn't require a cell phone, but look at the, that's just insane to me. I could carry this thing to work every day. And one of the exciting things about something like this is say you're trying to figure out what a problem is. You can point this thing at your ceiling, your walls. You can see where your home insulation is failing. And also you can point it at a switch, like a circuit, and see which of those is the hottest. 
You know, it's just, there's so many uses for this little thing. I think it's freaking awesome. In fact, I'm going to include a clip of my engine running using this. And I'm going to hit the record button on there. And then I'm going to add it to this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out. All right, so the vehicle has not been driven in a little bit. It's hot outside. It's pretty hot in there still from driving earlier, but the high of being 55.5. So we're gonna go ahead and let this thing run for a minute and see. All right, I have the opacity set to 100%. So it's recording a video right now. I'm not quite sure how it's going to look on camera, but I don't know if it's gonna include the video of the, th so there's the hot point, right? Okay, so it is similar to what I'm pointing at on the actual, I'm looking, I'm looking at the screen that has the temperature and I'm looking at the screen that has the like raw video. Oh, you can see the hose is getting... All right, car's been running for a few minutes. It's got some heat in it now. These lines are quite warm. I can hold my hand on it, but not for very long. That is very warm. In fact, now you can't even see my, my hand is not red because this is so red. So if I take it away, yeah, see now that becomes much warmer. But then all that stuff is so hot that it held my hand <laughs> in comparison. Wow, that engine is a lot bigger than I thought. This is a V6 Nissan Frontier. And we can see like where all the hot points are. The radiator is right there. Got some heat in it. Obviously we saw that the coolant lines have heat in it. And then there's the uh, engine. We got the AC going, so there's gonna be some lines to the AC. If, I believe it's that right there. I'm not. But yeah, this is super cool. And then there, oh yeah, look at that. So those, I think those are like the lines for the AC. I'm not 100%, I'm not a mechanic, I don't, this is a 2024. So this is a newer car. In fact, let me take my phone and not drop it. Oh, that is super cool, I love it. I don't even know if you can hear me because the engine sound. This thing is so small, it can easily get in tight places. It's way bigger than my phone itself. Oh, I bet that's what that extension's for. All right, that extension cord cable thing that came with it on the unboxing, look, now I can freaking put this little guy down here and get an even crazier view of everything. I could spin it around, there's the fan. Let's not get it sucked up in that. <laughs> there's the uh, fan to the right and the engine to the left. So now I have it on an extension like cable in a way and I can get it in the even tighter places. There's like where the engine and transmission meet. All right, so the image on the left is gonna be from the Top Don. TC005. What I do like about the top Don is it shows that the hottest point is the little red crosshairs, right? And the center is going to be that top left number. So whatever I pointed at, it updates to that. So the cold part's 57, the hot part's going to be 90. But the whole time it's going, the little red crosshair is going to show me the hottest point automatically. So it knows that the gas cap right now is at the hottest temperature of anything in here. You can kind of tell that on the Thermal Master by the fact that it's the brightest red of them all. And I have the bar on the middle right that is also reflecting the temperatures are. So the highest being 87. So that is pretty cool. They both have their pros and their cons. I'm definitely digging the Thermal Master because it's in my pocket at all times and it's so small and I can easily connect it to my phone. And then I can easily share the video, unlike the Top Don. Let's get in closer with both of them here. This isn't gonna be perfect, but it's close as I can get it to both being even. So there you go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording on both of these and switch this over to HD mode, which the Top Don does not have. And it's gonna get rid of that bar on the right, so you're not gonna have a clue what the temperature is. But I'll switch to that. All right, so on the top Don, I have it switched off where it doesn't show crosshairs anymore. And it has the bar on the right, which indicates the lowest and the highest temperatures. But now that we're in HD mode on the Thermal Master, it doesn't have that scale anymore. You cannot have the scale when you're in HD mode. 
but you're gonna be the judge of which quality do you prefer HD mode or non HD mode or do you prefer the image on the left which is the top dime I'm trying to hold these together as close as possible so that it's an even shot on both I kind of oh it's hard to tell if I like the glowing red on the right or the left I don't know which one I like more all right so the image on the left is the top dawn again the image on the right is non HD mode so that I can have the little temperature scale thing and you can see that there is heat coming from this car this car has not been driven and then my car has definitely just been driven this is so cool and this is me walking with both of these so it's not gonna be the clearest shot that truck has definitely not been driven the Mustang has definitely been recently driven this pickup truck is cold look at the truck the top Don definitely has a better image and then there's my legs I'm having so much stinking fun with this like you can tell which car was recently running that one has not that one has that one has not that one has and then my car right now is currently running and look at the brakes right look at the wheels so I literally just got home my wheels are and brakes are warm look at the freaking rubber like the rubber I feel it it's warm to the touch and it's also that's so cool and like those wheels are cold and those are oh yeah this is so cool <laughs> oh, I'm such a dork dude so the ground's gonna be warm because of the sun. This is so freaking cool, dude. Oh my gosh. That's super cool. That's under my car. Oh, look at that. Let's go to the front. And then, yeah. That's so cool. This is a video of my dog. It's a video of my cat. And there's my other cat. 